Cooler Master. Let's unbox it. Elite series of pieces. I have to use my legs again. No, there's no fire wire port. There's two USB. There's a front panel, a microphone, and headphone. This is your reset button, and this is your power button. Something very special I've just realized is that it's not really a push in button, but just. Can you hear it? Yeah, as in you don't push the you don't push the whole button in. For example, I'll show it on my Silverstone SGO too. These whole buttons goes in all the way. Oops, I just switched on my computer. Uh, anyway, this is just the kind of button that I'm not sure if you understand, but yeah, this kind of button are mainly maybe commonly found in your washing machines. Yeah, and over front here we have a uh, five and a one two. Three, five and a quarter base. Here we have a floppy three and a half inch bay. I think there's a front. Yes, there is a front fan on here, and over here at this side, there's practically nothing. And on the top, we can support up to two hundred twenty millimeter fan. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. This is a very cool case. Bottom mounted PSU. Oh yeah, thumb screws. Whoa. Let's take a look at the case over here. There's a free okay. Uh, it's come come with the case. 120 mm for the exhaust. Toolless toolless drive base. So you can just slot your that's quite a new design. Okay. Slot your five and a quarter maybe CD drive in. Open this way. Then lock it. Easy, right? And then this is where your hard drive lies. Toolers as well. See, it goes in just like that. To secure it, just turn the knob over here. Whoops. So I locked it. Turn the knob over here, and it's done. It's locked. Over here, we have the accessories, the screws, the jump. I mean, not the jumpers. The risers for the motherboard. You have a speaker, and. Yes, the speaker and risers and things like that. You have the cable for the back fan. Then after that, oh yeah, there are actually dust filters over here. And that's it, I think. Let me take a look. Over here, we have the front panel audio connector as well as the USB front panel connector. And there's also a, a fan connector because there's a front fan over here in the front, I'm not sure if you can see it then also we have basically the front panel audio connect uh, front panel connectors for your power switch and your reset switch overall I think that this is a very good case compared to the previous generation of Elite cases from Cooler Master and I'll give it a uh, 4 out of 5 because the memory went full again anyway I would, I would say that I'll give this computer or this computer case a 4 out of 5. Why the 4? Because I would have preferred the black interior instead of a normal um, do you call it white or silver interior. And other than that, I also believe that the steel, this is made of steel, so it's actually a very durable case. Other than that, because of the 320mm friends and the perfect price, this is actually only 69 retail price. 69 Singapore dollars so it's actually a very good case for the money uh, there are also two 120 millimeter fans as, as I've uh, just mentioned and at the bottom you have the ventilation 
uh, holes for your PSU and there's also de dust filters another 120mm uh, slot for your fan and we have one two three four five six seven seven three and a half seven three and a half um, slots for your hard drives and things like that also over here we have one two three four five six seven PCI uh, expansion slots so actually um, something special right over here let me focus is that on this on this case there's actually an indication on you see micro ATX you have uh, ABCD E F G H and I and ATX is ABCD E F J K and L actually there's letters at each of the holes to determine which holes to put the risers in like what I have now I have a micro ATX uh, motherboard so of already mount uh, put all my risers onto the correct post and now I'm starting to uh, start on my new build overall this is a very good case for the price and I'll recommend you buying this for your budget build or maybe an exchange of a case because your previous case was faulty or something like that yeah I think this is a very good case especially with the side panel and also the side panel you can get another 120mm fan as well thank you very much youtube for this review and i hope that you can comment on my video and give me more suggestions on what kind of products you would like to see from me uh, thank you very much i hope you have a nice day for more information about this product you can visit www.zungmycommodoblogspot.com or feel free to email me at wisezook.techgeekhg at gmail.com Thank you very much and hope you have a nice day.